up and heave in. Just completely, utterly in awe here. That is complete scandal. That is right out of this world. I believe it! I don't believe it! So the lineup for this second part of the quarterfinals in the bottom half of the draw. Nayli. Gillis, sorry, I'll be thrown off by the MC Romain who's calling her Nair. Nayli Gillis, she takes on Alexandra Fuller of South Africa. Oli Have you been to Cape Town? Yes, many times. It's a beautiful place, yeah, isn't stunning, it? Stunning, yeah. They actually have a squash club on the beach there. Yeah, played an exhibition there. Five, two. Nice hold and switch of play from Gillis. He's looking more positive. Yeah, I mean, I think well, I Nelly Gillis would have had a lot more experience on the glass court, all those European events she's played over the years. Alexandra Fuller would have only had a couple of uh, tournaments on the glass court. Does make a big difference. Seven, two. So Lem shake of the head there from the South African number one. Gillis leads one game to love. With the lifter level on this glass court. It's well straightened. Longer rally again, which is perhaps quite good for Fuller at this point. Oh. That's nice. Both of these girls using the bows to good effect. And this one was a winner from a South African. Now. Eleven four. Game to Gillis. Gillis leads two games solo. Quick fire stuff really from Nayla Gillis. So far, very impressed with Nayla Gillis, the Belgian number one. Well, this is a better start for Fuller. If she can just remain positive. She gets time on the backhand side, Alexandra Fuller hits the ball really well, nice and clean, but uh, that was a bit too loose, that boast. She's not going to ask for a let because she realises it was a poor shot. Nayla Gillis is going to eat this up all day long. Half of the draw. Well, tidied up there by Nayla Guinness. Very, very warm on there. It's very hot out today here in Nantes. 33 minutes for Nayla Guinness to get past Alexandra Fuller of South Africa. 11 2, 11 4, 11 5. Three games to love. Bottom half of the draw. Tina Gillis taking on Fiona Merverley. It's an all English semi final at the top half with the rising star Lucy Tomel taking on Emily Whitlock, the number one seed. That will be brilliant tomorrow. Will we see a battle of the sisters, though, in the semi finals here? Because you had the, the tearing over the top. You could watch from the front wall, the side wall. And for me, squash has always been a gladiatorial, primitive sport. There's obviously the aesthetics which they show in the choreography of this. Uh, tournament beautifully with the movement because it's like a dance but it is a for me it's a really hardcore warrior type sport but this absolutely the closest thing century Four, opera house it's some amazing he's from Corsica down was he saying motherly or did he say motherly 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 now if they don't have the 
the footage. Sure. We're playing a let ball here. Yeah, but then common sense prevails as well, Parky. Yeah. Something that uh, we can all keep learning on. Got to get wider than that. You're playing somebody with a wingspan oh. of Fiona Moverly. We're still trying to find Andy Cockerell in that uh, fence, and she was in the European individuals in in Austria recently, and, and just there, the poor service. You, you, you're serving to ten four. Somebody that's got a terrific backhand volley drop shot, and, and it was just teed up for her. You're giggling. Why are you giggling? Well, because it's just so obvious that uh, it's. Uh, must be frustrating if anyone's kept well we know he's coaching her sister straight onto the strings of Moverly. but it's too easy as well so it's too mean, easy from a tactical oh, point of view there needs to be a lot of adjustment never really seen her panic too much just uh, has a certain way on court which works that is a she's getting a lot of balls back good rally here it's well played it's good battling there from gillis really good battling and now three, two. Yeah, it's Stuck impressive. Side, obviously, technical side, and tactical side, but you can't necessarily change a player's personality. Yeah, and she does have fighting spirit, Gillis. Just uh, got a little bit outclassed in the first two, but this is good. Clever shot, that one, Parky. That was like one of yours, where you play the ball and hide it with your body. And Watch now this. Eight <laughs> four. <laughs> Not intentionally that you would try and hide it. With Eleven, the poor error for Moverly, but you've got to Moverly take your hat off to Tinny Gillis. She has been battling a little bit of uh, a cold. She uh, apparently doesn't travel well at all. I know it's only been. <laughs> I know. I know <laughs> you're giggling. I know. <laughs> it's not exactly the longest flight from uh, England to, to Nantes, but and she picks up quite a lot of six. infections when she's travelling on the plane. Yeah. did post a photo earlier and you actually look quite slim. A lot slimmer than you. Well, that's because I was wearing you more flesh coloured. Just, had a, just had a huge back. I mean, you, you, you need to start working more on orange, a bit more peach, but people call it orange that don't understand colours. And there's a lot of orange people in the world. Tom, Atomic Peach, Don, Donald Trump being one of them. Big squash fan watching now live. Up in the White House. And down. So three match balls for Moverly, the defending champion. Breathe more life for her in this event. Down. It's going to be delayed slightly though, Joey. And down. That poor boast on the forehand side. Eight, ten, match ball. Well, there's the fist pump and uh, Match to flailing outstretched Three forehand for Gillish. Couldn't quite make it. Five, a nice warm uh, embrace at the end seven, of that match. 11. Yeah, I won't be uh, wanting to do the old kiss on the cheek, otherwise she might get the dreaded lurgy from Moverly. But uh, an interesting contrast there. A lot of experience from Moverly. She did well, but uh, got a heart of a lion, Tinny Gillis. And she's only 20 years of age. Definitely see a brighter future for her. She'll be moving up the rankings. But Fiona Moverly, the defending champion, will be happy to have got off under 40 minutes there. Three games to one.